Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The Independent Commission of Investigations says it is intensifying a probe into the circumstances surrounding the police killing of two men along Trafalgar Road in St. Andrew on Monday. According to Indicom, there has been some speculation, confusion and inaccuracy in the initial police report. Motorists have been hit with another hike in gas prices. The state-owned oil refinery Petrogem says E1087 will move up by $2.21 to sell for $147.55 per litre. A litre of E1090 will go up by $3.06 to sell for $151.23. The president of the Jamaica Independent Schools Association, Dr. Faithlin Wilson, is renewing a call for the government to provide additional support to private schools amid the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic. Opposition leader Mark Golding is insisting that the government should withdraw the order for the China Harbour Engineering Company to build the Montego Bay Perimeter Road project, saying it was on bad legal footing. The opposition leader says for the order to have been valid, the Montego Bay Perimeter Road project should have been approved as a national development project by the cabinet and the parliament. In sports homo technicals, Cedrica Williams landed the first record of the 2021 Issa Grace Kennedy Boys and Girls Athletics Championships in the Class 2 discus today. Williams threw the discus 47.04 meters on her final attempt inside the National Stadium, erasing the old mark of 46.69 meters set in 2018 by Marie Forbes from Vare Technical. In your currency trading today, it was costing $151.29 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $212.53, and the Canadian dollar for $125.87. In your weather forecast, Thursday morning will be partly cloudy across eastern parishes and mainly sunny elsewhere. The afternoon will see isolated showers mainly across western parishes, while elsewhere will be partly cloudy and windy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.